Hey y'all, it's Kay from The Literary Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Books My Boyfriend Gave Me. Today we're going to be talking about A Dance with Dragons, which is book five in a Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. This is the last book that we've gotten in this series so far. Supposedly there's two more books coming. I really hope so based on that ending, but we will see. I'm going to keep this as spoiler free as I can um, for this book because there will be a reading vlog coming soon of me reading my way through A Dance with Dragons, which has all the spoilers in it. So no sense in doing a spoiler review and a spoiler filled vlog. So I'm gonna do spoiler free in the review and you'll have all the spoilers in the vlog. So if you wanna know my spoiler thoughts as I was reading through this book, stay tuned for more very soon um, for that reading vlog. So A Dance with Dragons, I gave this one five out of five stars. It's not perfect, but I loved it. So spoiler free summary kind of of what happens in this book. Of course, anything here said in this review and this summary is spoiler free for the book itself, but not for the rest of the series. This is book five in the series, so it's hard to talk about the book at all without talking about any of the other books before it. So keep that in mind if you're one of the few people who haven't read a Song of Ice and Fire series yet and you, if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, but in A Dance of Dragons, basically everyone either wants to wed or kill Daenerys um, for the Iron Throne, all trying to get that Iron Throne glory. Tyrion is one that actually wants to ally himself with her, not necessarily marry her, not kill her because he wants to use her basically against his own family that have turned on him. Jon Snow has so many foes beyond the wall that he doesn't even know who's a foe and who's an ally um, and who's alive and who's a dead ally. Um, if you've read the book, that will make more sense to you. And then a really quick summary that I thought was really great on Goodreads. From all corners, bitter conflicts reignite, intimate betrayals are perpetrated, and a grand cast of outlaws and priests, soldiers and skin changers, nobles and slaves will face seemingly insurmountable obstacles. I love that word insurmountable. It's just, is so grandeur. Some will fail, others, will grow in the strength of darkness, but in a time of rising restlessness, the tides of destiny and politics will lead inevitably to the greatest dance of all. That is our dance with the dragons. Like I said, I gave this one five out of five stars. It's not perfect. Um, sometimes it felt like there was a little bit too much description going on here. George R. R. Martin and Robert Jordan got together and just had a description fest. Um, but for me, at least in my ratings, a book doesn't have to be perfect to be five stars. Um, it just has to be amazing. And this book to me was amazing. Really quick breakthrough of my call pile score. If you want to know details on why I chose these numbers, um, and my rationale for them, you can look up my, uh, written review, which will be down in the description below. C for characters, nine and a half score. A for atmosphere and setting, nine. W for writing style, nine and a half. P for plot, nine. I for intrigue, eight and a half. L for logic and relationships, also eight and a half. And E for enjoyment, full 10. I enjoyed this book so much, I had to give it a 10 for enjoyment. That gives us 64 divided by seven categories, which gives us 9.14, which equals five stars. Five out of five stars for A Dance with Dragons. One of my favorite things about this book, especially compared to some of the other books in this series, was that we saw these characters grow, but we also saw the strengths and the weaknesses of the characters. We saw them in their prime and what they're best at, but also their vulnerabilities. And that to me 
is the true sign of a master of the craft. George R. R. Martin creates such vivid characters that you see both sides to them even when things are going their way. So I absolutely loved this book. Dancer Dragons, five out of five stars. Um, I may have a series review for this series coming soon. I still have to wrap my mind around all of this seri the series as a whole um, and figure out if I wanna do a series review for it or not. Um, technically, this series is not finished, like I said before, but it's been like 10 years, I think, since we got this last book. And if you followed it at all, George R. R. Martin has lost basically all interest in finishing these this series. So we may not get the other two books, so I'm calling it here, even though that ending is not a series ending at all, but it was spectacular. Um, so that's it for now. If y'all have read A Dance with Dragons or Song Vice and Fire series, let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this book? Did you love it like I did, or was it one of the lesser books for you? Um, if you've read this series as a whole, then let me know in the comments below what was your favorite book in this series. I think my favorite book in this series, I want to say was book two, no book three, A Storm of Swords. One of those two. Um, they're all really, really close. I absolutely loved this series so much. All of them, I think, were four and a half or five stars for me. Um, I just have to sit down with my ratings and my thoughts and figure out what order they go in. So I might do a series review for this series ordering here. Um, but that's it for now. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.